today's video is about train set but how to go about building one and what are the costs as you know this one looks awesome this has been over three years by the way doing all this so yeah but first things first I need to tell you how to start the train set first you uh, my advice is um, work out what you're going to do on a piece of paper like draw I'll give you an idea so you want to go and uh, draw in a bay so I've given you a rough idea how I've done mine is it a row there it is mine's base you, you you can do it how you want you've got to think about what kind of uh, train set you're going for uh, we're going for a town a city or whatever what, 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 and how big you want it and how small you want it you have to think about all the dimensions and everything and uh, if it, my advice is if you're starting out new doing this and you're not sure how big the tracks are my advice is take a tape measure measure uh, go to a, a model shop uh, measure some rail um or look or look on or on some youtube videos because you see a few people doing about it and i do the rail on that but yeah i have a rough idea how big it is and uh just to give you an idea um um the cost, because I used Hornby Rail Track, I didn't use Pico. Pico's quite cheaper, but I'll put a link um, of the Hornby website so you can have a look at that. Uh, but yeah, these, this one here and this one there, this was £15 and that was £15. The two, just, just the two changeable tracks. This one here where you connect the railway with a uh, thing, that cost me, um, that cost me £5.50. But what I did to make it easier for myself, I bought a train set, as in, like, you know, the ones you get in a box, because it comes with some track already. It comes with a controller. I didn't need to buy the controller. It comes with that already. Um, yeah, so so you can basically lay it on the floor, work it out, work out how much track you need, where you want to pull it, what way, what direction you want to pull it, and everything. Yeah. And once you've got... That's sorted and work out where your roads are. You see how I draw it, I've done my roads. Never think. And once you do that, you've got to measure. Basically, you got if you're doing a layout like this, basically if you want to do that like this, you've got to measure from top to bottom and that way and that way. Because I did mine on foam board. This is foam. This is actually foam. I should have done it thicker than this because I see it's not it's raised off the floor. She used it a bit thicker than that. Didn't do I was supposed to be a few layers, which I didn't do, with a heavy weight. Uh, yeah, foam board. I did that, and I measured it, and I put it down. Because foam board, foam board cost about um, three big white big boards for a ten a pound. So, basically, what you see here is ten pound. Put the train set on. Then I started putting down the rail. I stick down the rail. If you get wood, you can do wood, but then you get, you get tiny holes there's tiny holes in the rail where you can buy little now rail nails where you can bash it in but it's best to lay the track down to know where you want everything first once you've got that you can stick the track down and you can then when you've done that you get your ballast it goes in um my advice is when you put the ballast in is but use a brush there's so many methods to do it you can look on youtube there's so many methods to put the ballast in but you just brush it along uh, the cost of buying rail, this all to start off with. My advice is get the rail train set, do it that way, because you've got a train already to start off with when you think about it and carriages. And I, I always get my stuff second hand. I don't get my stuff brand new. I've, I, none of this on the train set, none of it you see is brand new except the uh, London Underground carriage, and that's it. And those two, three trucks, because I wanted them for the Isle of Wight, because mine's based on the Isle of Wight. Part, part fiction. Part fact. And the scenery is going to cost you, what, 10p? No, sorry, got that wrong. <laughs> Cut the pound. Yeah, depends what you're using. The scenery doesn't cost that much. You only get, the only cost effective things on the train set will be things like this. And also, I'm going to put in a link in the description for you guys if you're starting out new. Um, kit building. Uh, this thing here, this bus stop here, uh, where else? I've got a few models up here. I'll just show you. All these, all these models here are actually free kit builds you can download for your train set. Already, this is Arkwright store. This is a 
And at Watford East was it famous EastEnders and at uh, Wilkinson's sort of store. But yeah, they're free kits to build. There's also ones to buy as well. I had these ones from my previous, my dad's train set. I made this from scratch. I made this building from scratch. You can buy material. If you go to a, a model shop, if you know nearby, you can ask in there and they give you a bit of advice. <clears throat> Bushes like this. Um, they range, I think they range from six to eight pound or ten pound, depending on the size you want, because I've got some small ones here. Really small ones. The cats have rubbed it off, apparently. The <laughs> scenery, but you see better ones. Yeah, let's put the flesh on to see a bit better. Yeah, and uh, as you can see, this is like I'll just lift this up to give you an idea. As you can see, it's cardboard. It's all, it's all cardboard kit builds. But once you add stuff to it, uh, like oh, mess up, like bits of scenery as you get here, is that it just makes it look more realistic. Um, when it comes to collecting people, because I've got people, I got. 100 sitting down people for 12 99 on Amazon. Amazon's a good place to look for little bits and pieces. Um, this castle uh, is made from scratch. Um, would you believe it? It's a toilet roll. <laughs> you believe it's a toilet roll. And what I did was um, I painted around it. I added a bit of few foam, foam board here and there and just added a few bits to it. And uh, yeah, this bridge. I made out of foam board. If you can see inside, you see the foam inside. Uh, layers of foam is laid on top, and I measured it to see the train goes round the corner and everything. And then I painted over it, added a bit of scenery, so it looks quite. This is just painted on. Yeah, it it, ta it it takes. It's not like a rushed. You can't rush it. I'll give it. You can't rush doing it. And I'll just show you the seaside because that's everybody who likes to know how you do a seaside. Doing a seaside is not easy. Um, uh, I did mine different. I used glue, white glue, um, and real sand because I'm on foam board. I don't forget. If you're using wood, resin is the best thing to use for your one. Resin. I made me own beach. I didn't give you that detailed last time. Let's get down there. Let me see inside. Wait. As you can see, I've done a bit more detail in the shop window and everything. Let's focus that. You see that? Yeah. I'm going to get some more stuff off Amazon. I might get some beach huts. Uh, I might get some beach people. Just to make it look a bit good. Because that's real sand, apparently. <laughs> From the actual Isle of Wight, because I want to keep it really nice. See, I decorate the scenery. It's, it's gradually working it out how to do it. You sort of you have to um, when you're building something on the train set, um, you got to think about how you want to do it, where you want to put it, yeah, and gradually work with it. And the way I've got my pot paints, if you're doing it from the UK, um, there's a tip to tell you to save a bit of money. These are the pots I used. They're only about a pound. You know, the sample paints you get in in the shop. I used all these, all the sample paints. This one's a, uh, for painting trains and that. It's acrylic paint. It's a special kind of modelling one. But yes, these are ones from Wilkins. Only cost me about a pound. And how I stick my buildings together, and how I stick my um, other bits together. When I build stuff, I use um, poly cement to build uh, um, buildings together. And other than that, I just use normal glue, PVA glue, to stick buildings together. And here you see the posters. Get this bus out of the way to show you. These posters are all drawn by hand. I've done these by hand. But if, you, if you're if you not a good as artist, and you can still buy these. Amazon's got some brilliant stuff on there. And the model shops have some and exhibitions and that. Because I've got, my advice is... If you when they all start up again, go to exhibitions, take advantage of that because you can get some good stuff. Like, I've got this carriage here, this one here. Let's lift this up. Swiss carriage, I just wanted it because it was a restaurant. I got I only got it for a tenner, and it's brand new, nothing wrong with it. But I like it for the display because a restaurant. I've got some trains that don't run, like this one, I'd use it as a display, like a static display. It takes a while, but now it comes now the cost of trains. 
if you want to buy them brand new, because it's like, you know, they can be quite expensive. You're looking at something like, uh, just give you an idea. Here, I should show you one of the model, recent brand new ones I bought from scrap. Well, I bought from brand new, not second hand. This is actually brand new. I bought this for £25. It's quite lightweight. It's like basic DC uh, version. And it's only £25 that cost me. And if you join a Hornby, if you join Hornby membership, I put a link for that as well. If you join their membership, you pay £30 and you get a free train anyway. So it's a good start, like, if you want to do trains and everything. But if you want to buy um, brand new stock, uh, mostly they specialise in DCC, which is digital, which is another version. I use DC. It's just that, straight to the mains and watch the trains run. I'll just show you what brand new stock looks like. Here's a catalogue. This is all brand new. They don't just have trains in there, they have other stuff. But if you want to pay your money out. Yeah, as you can see it's very technical in some of the stuff. It's all DCC. You're looking about, for carriages, 45, 50 pound. Roughly. Depend, depending on the, the stock. Trains are about, trains are quite expensive. 300 Four and five hundred is this is quite DCC is quite expensive. But if you buy second hand stock, you can get it right good. I've got a steam train. Uh this one up here to show you. The steam train here, this one here, that cost me twenty pounds. That was an, an exhibition. Uh I've got this diesel here, I paid seven pounds. There was something wrong with it. I got I cleaned it up myself. Uh yeah, I got this I got one of these trains, I think it's the one at the back. No, this one here. I got this one for five pound because it's like a dummy car. There's nothing, but this I paid ninety quid for that. This whole one, complete one. That's why you see it running in quite a lot. Yeah, and these buses. Um, I got this bus because it was Isle of Wight. I paid twenty pound for this bus. Yeah, because I want it specifically nineteen eighties train set. So you don't rush, don't rush and buy stuff for your train set. Gradually build it up. Do it bit by bit, otherwise the cost is going to be far too much for you to pay out. So make sure you gradually pay bit by bit. And this, and this thing here is like a got it's an exhibition, it's like a kit build. You build it from scratch. I met I paid what three or four different colours there. It's about two ninety nine a colour. Uh, but I gradually built on it slowly. Took my time, followed the instructions. Kit buildings. It's a good way to start. It gets you into the field of building an actual train set. Uh, I've got something. I've got it's an exhibition. I've got that in exhibition. Uh, when I was at Margate, there's a toy fair. Yeah, I built this. This was a free build. Um, it's like a garage. Uh, I've got the thing outside. The garage is outside. Let's have a look. Got the pumps outside. There. Yeah, I built this from scratch. Uh. That was already done. This is like I just painted. I didn't like that. I painted that. You noticed? Uh, I just painted it because I didn't like the colour. That was why. I remember, I got to do a chimney there. <laughs> uh, this one's scratchy, you know that. This was all my dad's that used to have. But yeah, when you have kit building, it's quite detailed when you think about it. It's quite good for kit kit builds. They do, they do look quite good. I know it can be cost effective for a train set, but. Doing it in stages, it, it works out good. But once you've got your track up and running, you can run the trains around and you can gradually build on it. But work out where you think about what, what you want to do, what what sort of train set you want to do. Does Is it going to be seaside, destination, countryside, a town? This one is a hamlet. A hamlet is a town without a church. That's what a hamlet is. I thought I'd show you that. You don't often see them around in train set builds. Uh, yeah, this is like my uh, depot bit, you could say. All the trains come inside. Like a bus thing going up at the moment. Because uh, two can go out, one can go out, one can go out. Take my time. Uh, or I can leave two in there and let one run round. Um, yeah, and this is like the main street, you could say. Leading up and going out. Disappear. Some people sort of have a half a train set. Train stuff behind and scenery in front. I just want to afford a full aspect of it. And I store my train. I store them all up here. All my rest of my stock. 
By the way, I got this in the exhibition. I paid a pound for that. Pound for that. It's quite a good deal that was. But yeah, I just hope it hope it's helped a bit. Oh, and I used a, a cut and smashed some glass, and I used a bit to make a water feature and just decorated around it, just to give that effect. <laughs> yeah, it takes time to do. It just it's not complete this train set because I have to do quite a few things. I have to buy some dustbins. See, it's, it's so much detail. Even these little flowers. Uh, I've got these at a later date. Everybody knows who's been watching my videos. Oh, the cat's been in there. <laughs> yeah, you notice that um, I add bits bit by bit. It's not all fully done. Like this beer, it's quite new. It's not, it's not been there for a while. It's been less than a year, that one. But yeah, gradually. I'm working on this now. Um, I'm, I'm making an uh, inside, I'm making a bar and everything because I've got sit-down people there. So I can make myself... When I say, when you buy metal kits and they say use reinforced cards, card, reinforced card is actually your cereal box. I know Cornflakes has got the best hard uh, uh, cardboard, but yeah, reinforced, reinforced card is actually cardboard from your cereal box. So you just glue the... Uh, the piece of paper on top. I'll show you what what for a sample. Now like here's one you get a free download. I'm gonna put a link in the description so you can have a go at this one. You can actually build these. This one, this one here, and this one. Here. It comes with instructions. Reinforced card is basically you get the layout of the building on a paper like this, and you just stick it on onto uh, the cardboard with PVA glue. But my advice is follow the instructions, follow all the instructions step by step and you won't go right. We've got here, look, it says here, you need to glue most of the parts onto stiff card. But basically the stiff card is the, car the cardboard you use on your cereal box. Look, look, it says here, look, mount your cardboard, it would be best fit, but a cornflake box will probably do. Basically it's quite strong card anyway, the cereal box you have. But some read it some of it because some bits don't necessarily want you to put it on actual card but my advice is read the instructions right through to the end so you know what's going on before you start well yeah it should work it's a good build it's a worth one doing it's worth trying out uh there's a few things that i've got to do that has the parliament one yet i've got to do that one yet but yeah it's worth worth checking out i'll put a link to that website for stuff they do all the hornby stuff so you can check that out as well this is this is good though for something fun to do. If you've got a printer, you can print it out, have some fun building, and you can actually build what I just shown you. Yeah, I hope it's helped. If you've got any more questions, query uh, about a train set, um, how I use my cars, um, Hot Wheels, I use Hot Wheels cars. You can get them. Um, if you're in America, go Walmart. They've got loads of a range of Hot Wheels cars. In the UK, we can get them from any of the toy shop, can't we really? Uh, but yeah. Because this is a Hot Wheels car. It's nice added to the train set, you know. And you can get your own cars that you want. I even got one here uh, from Hot Wheels. I liked it because it's an ice cream cart. So it's the summertime. Yeah, and I've got a collector's edition one there. My friend gave me that. And this one, Coca-Cola. Yeah. But stuff like this, cars like this, you won't find... Uh, or Hot Wheels, you can you can go and uh, just go and look around on the internet. You might find something, but yeah, it's worth checking out. Some people prefer the actual um, stuff that comes from the um, model shops itself, but yeah. Well, and the background also. There's another thing to do when you're doing your train set. You need a background, and uh, where's my backdrop? This is like a 1960s old fashioned, but you can get loads of backdrops from Google. Just go to Google. Um, this type uh, wallpaper background or this background it's for your template it's basically a template that's what you're looking for background templates uh, I'll put a link I'll put a link for a few uh, so I'll give you an idea I'll search it for you and I'll copy and link it to you so you can have a look so you know what to search but yeah templates is what you're looking for so if you're looking for model builds or something like that checking other stuff just put templates that's a good word to use because that way you can get some freebies. There's a lot of free stuff up there to do my train set building. And it saves the cost. Anyway, hope this has helped helped you out.
Um, for the train set anyway, building tutorial. Do pop the questions below. I will answer them. And uh, yeah, hopefully next time the train's, the train's running and um, we've got to have a clean up again. And there's another thing you have to clean the train set. Um, I use cotton wool. I use train train uh, cleaning fluid for my train set, and use cotton cotton bud. There's so many methods. There's so many methods out there. Um, yeah. Until next time, guys. Hope this has helped.